down, Carla. No one can question the unique and valued position of a school secretary and what they hold. Our schools cannot function without them. Our education system needs them. And this, I doubt, will be disputed by anybody. Even just sitting with a child who might have been called to the office when they got bad news, or a child going home sick, they provide a role that a teacher managing dozens of children in a classroom cannot possibly do. The Department of Education, however, has failed to seriously engage with school staff or their union to resolve this issue. Indeed, the Department says that schools must pay their secretaries through the capitation grant, which is a farce to me. You cannot ask schools to juggle the cost of heating, lighting, paying staff, and the consequence of that is that it leaves these workers in an unsustainable position of low pay, no holiday pay, no sick pay, no real job security, and no access to the public service salary scale. This isn't the school's fault. This lies squarely at the feet of government. The government that is penny wise and pound foolish. This government has allowed these workers to fall through the cracks and deny them fair pay and conditions while you're busy wasting millions, hundreds of millions, through your mismanagement of large capital projects. Count Carla, I am proud to stand with the school secretaries.